I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, we're in the Woodman Beer Garden at the moment to show you a, a really special Christmas plant. The reason we're in the garden is because we've got to get to the roots of this plant and it's illegal, or rather the, the Countryside Act says that you're not supposed to uproot any plant from common land, but in the beer garden here we're fine doing that. And it's this plant down here. You want to get in close? This is the young... It's actually the 20th of December, but we've had a very strange year and these look very much like the sort of spring shoots of this plant. You can see it looks rather like a strawberry, but there's always extra leaf bracts. A little bit further down the stem, you can see two, three, even the fourth one on that stem there. As this plant matures, the leaves become more sort of palmate and spiky, and then uh, in the end they become uh, very pointy. And then as it flowers, it produces a yellow flower which will droop, drop off and uh, it leaves behind a little spiky burr with hundreds of seeds on it. So it's a plant that produces loads of seeds and gets absolutely everywhere. It's really, really common in the UK. Now, the leaves are edible, but we don't really like the leaves. They're not particularly tasty in my opinion. They do do something quite cool when you deep fry them though. They kind of uh, puff up a little bit like prawn crackers. Now I'm just going to rinse these roots off. I've already given Graham a bit of a clue by saying this is a Christmas plant, but there's a herb. This is Graham, the landlord here at the Woodman. Afternoon. And uh, I've already, like I said, given him a clue as to what we use this plant for. But these roots replace a kitchen herb that we use primarily around Christmas. And hopefully, now that I've washed off the mud and damaged them a little bit, you'll get the smell come through. There we go. Have a smell of that. Tell me if you can smell any particular type of herb that you might be using at the moment, or spice rather. Cloves. <laughs> yep, yeah, absolutely. That's, That's it straight away. Yeah, cloves with a little hint of cinnamon even. So you've got isn't a it? kind of double Christmas whammy. And when you dry this, it, um, it gets a very intense clove flavour. So I use it as a clove substitute in my elderberry wine and obviously at Christmas in your mulled wine. So there you go, wood avens, a great Christmas plant growing pretty much all year round, but Christmas is about the only time we pick it. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.